Russian troops around the important eastern Ukrainian city faced defeat on Friday, even as their president said he was annexing territory they had captured. Russian President Vladimir Putin said he formally claimed four Ukrainian territories as part of Russia on Friday in the escalation of the conflict war. His announcement on state television and the celebrations arranged by the government were broadcast at the same time that Ukrainian forces surrounded thousands of Russian troops in the strategic city of Lyman, a logistics hub for Russian operations in one of four areas claimed by Moscow. Russia does not completely occupy any of those areas. Russian-backed authorities held a series of referendums to join Russia in the region. Ukraine and Western governments have dismissed the vote as a bogus exercise meant to legitimize Russia's military occupation of parts of Ukraine. Earlier in the day, Russian missile strikes killed at least 30 civilians, Ukrainian officials said, as Ukrainian troops made military gains in the east hours before Russia announced its annexation of four Ukrainian territories on Friday. Russian troops fired 16 S-300 missiles at areas near the Ukrainian-held city of Zaporizhia, including a gathering point for Ukrainians preparing to cross the front into Russian-occupied territory, said Kirill Tymoshenko, advisor to Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. At least 50 people were also injured in the attack, according to Andriy Yermak, the president's chief of staff. Ukrainian officials say Russia is stepping up its bombing campaign against civilian targets, including many far behind the war fronts. Ukrainian officials described the attack as an attempt to terrorize and psychologically weaken the general Ukrainian population during the war. Another attack hit a local transport company in the city of Dnipro in central Ukraine, starting a fire that destroyed more than 50 buses and killed at least three people, according to local authorities in the city. Ukrainian authorities published images showing flames engulfing a bus terminal. A separate attack hit a residential neighborhood in the city of Mykolaiv, officials said. On Monday, Russian and Ukrainian troops appeared to be preparing for a major battle over the strategic southern industrial port city of Kherson, in a region that Russian President Vladimir Putin has illegally annexed and imposed martial law. Fighting and evacuations were reported in the Kherson region as Moscow tries to hit invaded country to submit with more missile and drone attacks on critical infrastructure. Putin declared martial law in the Kherson, Luhansk, Donetsk, and Zaporizhia regions on Wednesday in a bid to assert Russian authority in the annexed region as he faces battlefield setbacks, troubling troop mobilizations, mounting criticism at home and abroad, and international sanctions. The uncertain status of the illegally absorbed territory is especially apparent in the regional capital Kherson, where Russian military officials have replaced civilian leaders installed by the Kremlin as part of martial law that took effect Thursday to defend against a Ukrainian counterattack. The city of Kherson, with a pre-war population of around 284,000, was one of the first urban areas that Russia captured when it invaded Ukraine, and remains the largest city it has. It is a key target for both sides because of its main industry and major river port. Reports of sabotage and assassinations of Russian officials in Kherson have been surfacing for months, which appears to be one of the most active Ukrainian resistance movements in the occupied territories. However, on Wednesday, they made a withdrawal. The Kremlin withdrew from its positions at Snyarivka and other villages on the right bank of the Dnipro. The destroyed city is in a slice of Mykolaiv region, close to the administrative border with Kherson region and the occupied city of Kherson.
Syriac Klon, deputy head of the Kherson Oblast Council, said Russian troops had blown up all the bridges over the tributary of the Inulets, including the Daryevsky Crossing. On exiting Snaya Rivica, the Russians had demolished the bridge over the empty canal, turning it into an impassable concrete V-shape. They panicked, Klon said. The invaders are preparing for their withdrawal. They disabled the bridge to block our advance. The Russians had reinforced some of their positions on the road south of Snyarivka to protect the departing troops, he added.